So I'm standing here with Donna Jackson from Newark, New Jersey. So Donna, what brought you here tonight? Well, the topic of holding government accountable and finding government waste is something that I've been working on in the city of Newark County of Essex for a couple of years now. So I came here to get a little refresher, a little brush up, and find out exactly how to put the rest of the ducks in a row to make the audit possible. And what has, what has shaped you um, the most as a civic leader? Um, just the information that you can get being involved in different levels of government. Mm. Um, because of my involvement with your group and others, I now understand um, how this last 15 years of my life, back and forth to Trenton, uh, going to the Essex County Freeholder meetings, going to the North Municipal Council, East Orange Municipal, going to council meetings, how that has formed and shape me in terms of um, information that I need to digest to, to be a better and more informed citizen and that way help other people to be informed and better citizens. Excellent. And what kinds of issues are you concerned about in your city of Newark? Well, today I'm here, I'm concerned about fiscal responsibility, not only in the city of Newark, but also the county of Essex. Um, we have received tremendous amounts of stimulus money and we are also right now with the state of New Jersey uh, going through a budget crisis where we're asking for the money to plug our budget. Um, we lost 167 officers in North. So I'm here tonight to kind of um, plead my case to Mr. Boxer, to the nice young man I just met that did the budget presentation, mm. to find out exactly how we report these mismanaged areas um, and get a little tighter purse strings in terms of what's going on. For example, in North right now, I have over 2,000 municipal employees that don't live in the city of North, which is a violation of the city charter. Right. So if I'm down in Jackson as a regular citizen, need to find out how I can force the city to enforce the ordinance and get rid of those employees. If I can't get my council, who I can't right now, to uh, take action against the administration to, uh, be, to hold to the city charter, then I'm looking for information and help from this group and the watchdog efforts that we're doing and making us better citizens, because that's totally what I hear and more involved um, on how to get some help in those kind of areas. And we'd like to better track the stimulus money, not only that has already come in, but that is forthcoming to come. So have you ever proposed a new law or policy at any level, or are you currently working on something that's existing? Well, actually, I am a part of the North Water Group. Okay. And we just went to court, um, as you guys can see on the news today and in the paper today, uh, with the, against the mayor and the North Watershed CDC. They want to privatize and sell our water. So we came up with an ordinance. Mm. Um, we needed 2,800 signatures. We got over 10,000 signatures. We presented that. The city clerk approved it um, for ordinance. But we went to court yesterday. And, you know, as the legal battle go and the political games begin, um, the judge didn't even deliberate. He, he, he listened to an hour and a half of testimony, and he came back in, so we knew the fix was in. Uh, he never left the bench. As soon as they finished, he said, okay, well, I render my decision. The ordinance is, the, the petition and ordinance is thrown out. And we like, what? Wait a minute. You know, normally when you're given a decision on any area, the judge will leave out, at least, you know, make it look. We would say, judge, make it look good. <laughs> he didn't even make it look good. He never left the bench. You know, he didn't take a recess, nothing. He just came out. So we looking like, okay, the fix is in. So we are now going to go back to the drawing board because the people in North now are really enraged because we don't want to lose right. control of the water that we own. So that's a very uh, big topic in North right now. Um, the state has, again, committed to giving us $10 million. They gave us $36 million last year. Um, we are trying to force the city to have better generating uh, revenue generators to stop giving away so many tax abatements. So we're in an ongoing struggle now right. trying to force our mayor and council to present a budget on time. We should be doing our 2013 budget right now. We haven't even solidified 2012. So we also want the state to be accountable in terms of not keep giving us, uh, granting us more time to do things that legally we should do. Do we want the state to come in? and run the city, absolutely not, because right. our school board is in the shambles. But we do want them to hold them to the letter of the law in terms of what we're supposed to do. But I'm, I'm excited to be here. Uh, I think the young man, particularly that now we can go on um, through you guys and see each budget and compare it to different towns, I think that's phenomenal. So town stats is a, you see... The town stats, oh yeah. my goodness. Town stats I can't dog. wait um, to be able to go in and explore 
and do the different things. I, I think today we did um, Bernardsville and two towns next to them. Right. And um, we did Princeton, Princeton Township, and um, Ham, Ham, Hamlet. Ham, Hamlet. So when we when you see those comparisons, one of the areas that he spoke about was the policing and how heavy that burden is. Um, and he showed the crime stats, and they were low uh, for both areas. He said, oh, there's only 200 arrests, there's 200 crimes. And those are good numbers. My concern would be when you commingle services and then talk about one town for cover the other town in the midnight shift, particularly in the times that we're in now where crime is rising almost everywhere, um, the concern I have is when you do that shared service, when, pe- when, the, when the criminals know, because um, they watch. When they know we reduce service and that they got to come from another town to cover our town, that's when they get really active. Right. Because in North, when we let those 167 officers know, go, the world knew, and it's just like our crime has quadrupled in a year's period. So I, I would be interested to also find out within that stat how much crime they've prevented by having those officers present. Um, you know, because somebody think about robbing a store, but then the patrol car going by every 15 minutes, then I really don't have time to get in, get out, and get away. Exactly. So your group has been very active in the city of Newark, and you've worked with us in the past. Yes. So for residents in the city of Newark, what would you recommend about working with a citizens campaign? What 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 do you what's your feedback about working with a citizens campaign and getting results? At least engaging. Well, we have worked with you guys on several things, and we have also been outside partners watching you guys work on different things in, in different areas. My hope and um, commitment today coming here is that we not only do North, but we do county, the Essex County as a whole Definitely. to let people, because one of the things in North, the North Municipal Council meeting is the number one watch cable show for cable vision. Exactly. I mean, they watch it in North and South Orange. So I think that the interest is there. I think people are just afraid and maybe we don't know how to quite navigate the system. You guys give us the method and the wherewithal to navigate the system to get the simple answer to what they make seem to be a complex question. So I'm, I'm, my hope is that we can continue to partner on different projects. Definitely. Um, and that we can get residents to understand we can all do this too. That it is not a, a PhD degree. It is not a BA. It's not, you know, you don't have to be a wizard at things to just be simply say, okay, this is my water bill, this is my taxes, here's my mortgage. This is all too much. And, as and we, we need to see where we can trim the fat. And you as we have, see at yes. the Citizens Campaign, you don't need to be an elected official no, to get things done. And that's the, yes, you do not need to be an elected official <laughs> to um, deal with that situation. I think one of, the other, one of our new proposals that we are working on that we hope to joint venture with Citizens Campaign on is to do some reforms within the Department of Motor Vehicles. Um, just for example, in Newark, if you receive a parking ticket and you don't pay it in 22 days, your license is automatically suspended. Mm. So now, physically, people are really going through a tight time. Um, We're trying to get the city to alleviate that, but at the same time, the motor vehicle is charging people for suspended license, suspended registration. Now, every little thing is a suspension, and they're raking in the revenue. Um, Two questions is, why are you penalizing people so bad and now allowing allowing this? Uh, insurance companies also to give us surcharges at the same time you're giving us one you know you cause people to lose their coverages and lose their things because we don't have that protection in place um i there needs to be things where people don't abuse the system i truly understand and agree driving is a privilege but you're also now making it a hardship for folks when you have all these barriers the points the this and that i, I don't think a drunk driver should go free that's not what i'm saying but i'm talking about people um across this state um, because they just had a big motor vehicle hearing in Lodi. Mm. Um, they, they had uh, Senator Sargo bring the whole committee up. So those are the kind of things that we'd like to get with you guys on, uh, on outside of what the things that you guys are working on right now to partner to, to bring some more light to the situations and see how we could alleviate some of this stuff and get people back to being regular citizens and not let the system be so penalized to us to prevent us from doing things. You know, they, they, I think they stopped doing the uh, worker permit. Used to, if your license was in jeopardy, they used to issue you the permit so that you could at least go back and forth to work. Right. I believe that if they haven't stopped it, they're on their way to stop that. And that's going to prevent a lot of people in all communities from being able to earn a uh, livelihood. So we look forward to working with you. I look forward to getting the people in the city of Newark, the county of Essex, engaged more with the citizen campaign to arm us, to make us stronger, to let us know that just because we're not an elected official, we can also be an advocate. Thank you very much, Donna.